Welcome. In front of me is an iPhone 11 Pro Max, and today I will show you how to perform a hard reset of the device through DFU mode. So before we begin, you need two things. Number one is the cable. Now I have mine already plugged into the computer. And number two, if you're using a Windows-based computer, you will need to download iTunes, assuming you don't have it. Now, if you're using a Apple computer, then you don't need to download it. It's already pre-installed on the device. So once you plug it in, it should automatically open it up. And from there, we want to plug it in. Let's just take the cable, plug it into the computer. And now comes the process of putting the device into the DFU mode. Now it's primarily based on like counting down to five or 10 seconds. So you start off by holding the uh, power key. So volume up then down and hold power key. Then hold it for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you start holding a volume down key. And after five seconds, you release power key. So we'll see if that actually works for me by the first time. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, and keep holding volume down. And I already think I held it for a little bit too long, the power key, so. We basically should not be able to see the Apple logo. So yeah, I held it for a little bit too long. So let's try that again. Hello? Can you? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. I think that should be good enough. We'll see, I guess. Yep, so now it's going into the DFU mode. So on the computer, you will see that it's in recovery mode, but it's basically in DFU mode. Recovery mode is when you can see the logo of like basically a cable and a laptop. Now you cannot see anything on the phone. It looks basically as it is off and that is the DFU mode. Just tap on OK, and in this mode, you will only be able to use the restore button. Uh, normally, if you will be in recovery mode, as it states right here, uh, you would actually have the update option, which you do not. It's completely grayed out while in actual recovery mode, um, you would have it not grayed out, even though the device would be on the newest version. So disregarding what it says right here, all you need to do is just press uh, restore iPhone and wait for the process to go through. Now it's gonna load it up then pop up with a message, I believe. There it is, so restore and update, yep. And you'll see extracting software. Now that is, you will see this immediately, assuming you already done some updates on the device and iTunes have already downloaded the newest version of iOS. Now, if you're doing this for the first time and you kind of update or restore anything associated with that, um, then iTunes will begin the download of the newest version of iOS and you will see a little square right here with the progression of download. And you can tap on it and see how much it exactly downloaded. It's a 4.3 gig file, so it might take a couple minutes. And once it's finished, it's just gonna automatically progress further on to do what it's doing right now for me. And uh, yeah, so this will take probably several minutes, just be patient. And I'll be back once the process is actually finished.
And as you can see, now the process is finished. And that is how you perform the hard reset to DFE mode. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.